December 16, 1897, the date of the birth of the great Soviet commander Ivan Konov, the boy's childhood passed in the village of Lodaino, where the spirit of freedom reigned and Slavic culture flourished. Vanya's mother died early, and soon his father remarried, and his aunt took over the upbringing of the child. The family was prosperous, so Konov was given a good education. The young man studied at the parochial school, then entered the Zemstvo school. As a teenager, he began working in the timber industry, first as a harvester, then as a timekeeper. The personal life of a man did not develop immediately. He met his first wife Anna at a young age. The girl was fascinated by the beauty and charm of the Russian officer, and when he fell ill with typhus, she began to nurse him after recovery. The grateful guy called Anna to marry, and she gladly accepted the offer. Soon the daughter Maya was born in the family, and then the son Helium. The man met his second wife during the war with Nazi Germany. Antonino was sent to help the housekeeping officer. At their first meeting, Ivan looked pale and exhausted, but still managed to impress the girl. She was still young, recently graduated from school. But she created comfort around her chosen one and treated him for a serious illness. In marriage, the only daughter Natalia was born, who dedicated the book Marshal Konov is my father to the hero. During the First World War, Vanya received a summons to the army. The education and physical form of the guy attracted the attention of higher authorities, because of which he was sent to study to serve in the artillery. After completing the training, Konov received the rank of junior non-commissioned officer, served in Moscow, and then on the southwestern front. But after the change of power, the young man was demobilized. Vanya did not stay long in his native land, and soon a civil war began. The guy went to serve on the eastern front, where he showed courage and talent as a commander. He was a participant in the suppression of the Kronstadt uprising. Was listed as a commissar in the central headquarters of the Army of the Far Eastern Republic. When the war ended and a temporary period of calm set in, the officer continued to pursue a military career. He studied at the Mikhail Franz Academy, which allowed him to get the position of commander of a rifle division, first the 17th, then the 37th, and second. In 1938, already with the rank of division commander, he headed the 57th Special Corps. Ivan met the beginning of the Great Patriotic War in the rank of lieutenant general. He commanded the 19th Army and managed to distinguish himself in the Battle of Smolensk, which impressed Joseph Stalin himself, with the assistance of the state leader. The officer led the Western Front and received the rank of colonel general. But under the command of Konev, the Soviet troops lost the Battle of Vyazma. The human losses were so great that the question of the trial and execution of the commander was raised. According to legend, Marshal Georgi Zhukov stood up for him, at the suggestion of which Ivan Stepanovich led the Kalinin Front later. Alexander Vasilevsky wrote that Konev was close to Zhukov in spirit. They both had good intuition. Carefully assessed the situation and planned the battle. It is not surprising that for many of the commanders' entourage, his act towards the marshal, committed already in the post-war period, came as a surprise. Then the military leader, as head of the Kalinin direction, participated in the Battle of Moscow and the Battle of Rusev, but did not distinguish himself. After that, he again returned to the post of commander of the Western Front. Then the northwestern, but after a series of unsuccessful operations, he was again transferred. Only as head of the steppe front did the officer achieve success. He distinguished himself in the Battle of Kursk and the Battle for the Dnieper. Participated in the liberation of Poltava, Belgorod, Kharkov, and Kremenchuk. The feat of the hero during the Korsun Shevchenko operation, during which he managed to destroy the enemy group. Went down in history. For her, the man was awarded the rank of Marshal of the USSR. After a series of successful battles in May 1944, 
Ivan Stepanovich led the first Ukrainian front during this period. He was written about as a talented leader and an educated military leader who equally skillfully conducts defensive and offensive operations. The Vosandomir's operation carried out by Marshall earned a special place in textbooks on military art. During the advance of the troops, eight enemy divisions were surrounded. The western regions of the USSR were liberated and the Sandomir's bridgehead was occupied. For this, Konev was awarded the title of Hero of the Soviet Union. When the Soviet troops won, the officer was sent to Austria. There he led the central group of forces, was the High Commissioner. Returning to his homeland, the man served in the military ministries of the Soviet Union, enjoyed unquestioned authority. With the filing of Konev, the death sentence of Lavrenti Beria was signed, and he also supported the expulsion of Georgi Zhukov from the Central Committee of the Party. Ivan Stepanovich believed that the Marshal had not justified his trust and was prone to adventurism. In recent years, the Soviet hero served under the Ministry of Defense. The commander died on May 21, 1973. The cause of death was cancer. The officer's funeral was held with military honors. And his grave is located near the Kremlin Wall on Red Square. In memory of the celebrity, there were photos, awards and numerous mentions of exploits.